Hello friends, this video on cell, the unit of life part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now try to understand the structure of plasma membrane. Now, till now we saw that the function of plasma membrane is to act as a semi-permeable membrane which allows only selected particles only in selected direction. So now here we will see what is the structure of plasma membrane which helps it to become or to act as a semi-permeable membrane. The plasma membrane is made up of lipids and proteins. So these are the main constituents of plasma membrane. So basically when you actually look at the uh, structure of plasma membrane, it is a bilayer of lipid molecules. That is two layers of lipid molecules with proteins embedded in it. That is how the structure actually is. So, but the structure can be seen only through an electron microscope because you see the cell itself is so, I mean, so tiny. You cannot see it with your naked eye. Even with a microscope, you need an electron microscope, which should be powerful enough to make it visible. This structure is often known as lipid bilayer structure. Lipid because it is composed of lipid molecules. Since two layers of lipid molecules are there, that is why it is called bilayer. So two layers of lipid molecules and in between them proteins are embedded. So here you can see. So when you look at this orange colored boundary which you see here, that is the plasma membrane of a cell. Now, if you look at this plus here, we are talking about the structure of this thin line here. It might just look like a boundary, but when you look into this in detail, you actually get to know the complexity of the structure. Now, before we go ahead with the structure, we should be clear about what are lipids because many of you might have doubts what are lipids. So lipids are naturally occurring organic substances which are insoluble in water. So functions of lipids would be energy storage, cell membrane construction, nanotechnology. These are some of the functions of lipids. They are generally of two types, non-polar lipids and polar lipids. Non-polar lipids are the hydrophobic. Phobic means fear. So water hater. And the polar lipids are the hydrophilic lipids. Philic means loving. So water loving. So these are the two types of lipids. Polar lipids and non-polar lipids. Polar lipids will be what having water affinity. Whereas non-polar lipids will not like water. So these are the two types of lipids. However, there are certain lipids which has both hydrophobic and hydrophilic end. So maybe one end is hydrophobic and the other end is hydrophilic. So these kind of lipids are known as amphipathic lipids. So you might be wondering why am I talking so much about lipids here? That's because when I start explaining you the structure of the plasma membrane, I'll talk about these hydrophobic end, hydrophilic end, lipids, all these things. So you should have a basic idea. So these are amphipathic lipids. Now when we talk about the structure of plasma membrane, we will talk about amphipathic lipids. Some of the examples of lipids would be cholesterol, free fatty acid. These are some of the examples. Cholesterol you would have heard, right? People say that, okay, uh, do not eat too much of uh, ghee or butter. It will increase your cholesterol because they are rich in lipids, right? So th this was a brief introduction to lipids. Now let us look at the lipid bilayer structure of the plasma membrane. So this is how the structure of the plasma membrane is. So that thin line which you see enclosing the cell, that thin line when observed very closely under an electron microscope looks somewhat like this. So what are these? Here you can see this is one layer. So this is one layer and this is another layer. So this is one layer of lipid and this is the second layer of lipid. Since two layers of lipids are present, that is why it is called the lipid bilayer structure. Now, as I was talking about the amphipathic lipids, which has one polar end and one non-polar end. So here, these balls which you see, that represent the polar end of the lipid. And this other end, the tail, 
This represents the non-polar end of the lipid. So the two layer of lipids are arranged in such a way that the non-polar ends of both the lipids face each other. So this is the non-polar end of this lipid and this is again the polar end of this lipid. So non-polar end is what? Non-polar is nothing but hydrophobic. So non-polar is hydrophobic. So the two layers of lipids are arranged in such a way that the central portion is hydrophobic in nature because both are hydrophobic ends. Both the hydrophobic ends of the lipids meet there. So it will be all hydrophobic at the center. Right? Now, this is about the lipid bilayer structure. Now, where are the proteins? Because I also told that there are proteins embedded here and there. So where do we have proteins? Now, we, when you actually look at the structure, you have proteins embedded, maybe here, maybe here, or maybe here. So, you have proteins embedded in this structure. So, now again, the proteins can also be of two types here. One is called integral proteins and the other is called peripheral proteins. So, peripheral proteins are those which are towards the periphery, that is, which is towards the surface. So something like this, they are peripheral proteins which is towards the surface. Integral protein is something which is inside this membrane. So somewhere here. So they will be integral proteins. Right? So proteins embedded in continuous bilayer of lipid molecules. That is what I said just now. These proteins are also known as membrane proteins because they are present in the plasma membrane. Two types of proteins, integral proteins and peripheral proteins. So integral proteins are buried in the membrane. So they are partially or completely buried in the membrane. Completely buried in membrane. Whereas peripheral proteins are present on the surface of membrane. Now, you will be said now looking at this you might be thinking that okay the it basically consists of more of lipids because two layers of lipids are already present and proteins are present here and there so maybe the percentage of lipids present in the plasma membrane is much higher than the percentage of protein present but actually that is not the case for example take the example of the red blood cells of human beings the red blood cells they consist of almost 52 percent of protein and 40 percent of lipids in their plasma membrane so the amount of protein present in them is more than the amount of lipids so even though proteins are embedded so that doesn't mean that only here and there a little bit of protein is there it is there I mean, to a large extent, right? So I hope this basic structure is clear now. Two layer of lipids such that the hydrophobic ends of both of them meet at the center and proteins are present either uh, inside, which are called integral proteins or on the surface of the membrane called peripheral proteins. So this is how the exact structure looks like. So here it will be more clear to you. See here the red balls, they represent the hydrophilic end of the lipid. And this tail, this represents the hydrophobic end. So this central region is the hydrophobic region. The central region, this region is the hydrophobic region. And this region outside surfaces, they are the hydrophilic region. These blue colored structures which you see, they are all proteins. So the proteins which are present on the surface, they are peripheral protein and the protein which is present inside, they are integral protein. Now, even other than proteins and lipids also, small amount of carbohydrates or cholesterol are also present. So here you can see small amount of this yellow structures, they are cholesterol. So small amount of cholesterol is also there, small amount of carbohydrate is also present. So this is how the structure of a plasma membrane look like. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, 
find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.